Good morning. This video lecture is for class 7th subject English Honeycomb Poem Garden Snake Lecture 1. We are going to complete the entire poem in one lecture only. Garden Snake. Okay. So I will introduce you with the poem and I will also tell you the contents that we are going to cover in this video lecture. So moving forward. Contents that we are going to cover in this slides. Introduction. The first slide will have introduction. Stanza wise explanation. Each and every stanza will be explained to you all. Summary of the poem will be told. New words and their meaning will be told. Classwork will be given and followed by homework. It's mandatory to do the homework. Moving with the first slide that is introduction. What is the poem all about? The poem Garden Snake is a simplistic description of a harmless snake. The young child narrator encounters a snake in the garden and runs away from it out of fear. However, his mother informs him that certain kinds of snakes are not dangerous at all. They feed merely on insects. The young child narrator loses his fear. Thereafter, Ant begins to watch the snake pass through the garden. So basically, he finds a snake and he's very afraid and he runs away in form of fear. Then later, his mother informs him that certain kind of snakes are not dangerous. There are some kinds of snake like cobra and all. They are very big snakes. They are very dangerous. But there are certain kinds of snakes which are not at all dangerous. They feed merely on insects. They eat only insects. The young child, that is the narrator, loses his fear. That means now he is not afraid of snakes anymore. Thereafter, Anne begins to watch the snake pass through the garden and then he enjoys seeing the snake passing through the garden. Next slide. Garden snake. I saw a snake and ran away. Some snakes are dangerous, they say. But mother says that kind is good and eats up insects for his food. So when he wiggles in the grass, I'll stand aside and watch him pass and tell myself there's no mistake. It's just a harmless garden snake. So this is the poem here. The poet is saying that I saw a snake and ran away. He saw a snake and he ran away. And he's saying here that some snakes are dangerous, they say. But what is mother saying of the poet but the mother of the poet is saying that kind is good that means some are good and eats up insect for its food there are some who only eat insects for their food so when he wiggles in the grass i'll stand aside so now when the poet is saying when the snakes are going to move in the grass i'll stand aside and watch him pass and tell myself there's no mistake it's just a harmless garden snake. That's little small garden snake. Moving to the next slide. Explanation of the poem. Context. The poet describes how the child's fear gets replaced and he is able to watch the snake with delight. So now the poet is saying here, it's describing that how the fear of the child goes away and he watches the snake after that with great delight. Explanation. The young child narrator sees a snake and runs away, thinking the snake to be dangerous. His mother, however, tells him that some particular kinds of snakes are not dangerous but good they eat nothing but insects thereafter the narrator no longer afraid used to stand aside and see the snake wiggle in the grass every time the narrator sees the garden snake 
he reminds himself that there is nothing wrong as this is just a harmless garden snake clear next slide summary of the poem the young child narrator sees a snake and runs away thinking the snake to be dangerous his mother however tells him that some particular kinds of snakes are not dangerous but good they eat nothing but insects thereafter the narrator no longer afraid used to stand aside and see the snake wiggle in the grass every time the narrator sees the garden snake he reminds himself that there is nothing wrong as this is just a harmless garden snake clear to everyone isn't the poem very easy word meaning dangerous full of danger wiggles to move with irregular motion class work answer the following questions first one pick out the line that suggests that the child is afraid of snakes next which line shows a complete change of the child's attitude towards snakes read it aloud third but mother says that kind is good what is mother referring to so these are the class work questions now homework answer the following questions first one find the word that refers to the snake's movements in the grass next there are four pairs of rhyming words in the poem say them aloud third a snake has no legs or feet but it moves very fast can you guess how discuss in the group so you have to discuss it in your class group clear to everyone so that's the homework for you all hope you people have understood the poem the poem is very easy moving next can you recall the word used for a cobra's long sharp teeth where did you come across this word first so you have to recall the word used for a cobra's long sharp teeth and where did you come across this word first so that's the last question thank you have a nice day kind to do the homework and we shall be discussing the answers in the class thank you take care